What's up YouTube, Jeff back again from DopeTechDaily.com. Today I'm bringing you guys a quick look and preview of the VRS Design Damda Glide case for the Galaxy Note 7. Now I know the Galaxy Note 7 is not out yet, but a lot of people like me, they like to pre-order their cases, so they want to know what the case looks like, you know, any of the important features before they get it. So my friends at VRS Design were nice enough to send this out to me, so I figured I'd show you guys what it looks like, and I would compare it to some of the other cases in the Damda series that VRS has done. I've got the Damda slide here. I've got the Damda clip case here for the S7 Edge. And just take a look at some of the differences. Also, maybe we can glean some things about the Note 7. You probably already know most of the rumored specs. I'll drop a link below for the Note 7 rumored specs if you haven't been keeping up with the news. You probably already know most of them, but maybe we can see a little bit more about the design of the Note 7 from the case. And then remember the Note 7 event's coming up on August 2nd, so be sure to tune into that for the Samsung Live event. Let's go ahead and open it up, take a look. I haven't even opened it up yet. I wanted to open it with you guys. You get your VRS design certificate of authenticity right there. You go online and register that. We've got the case itself. Go ahead and pop it out. You can see it's got a fake Galaxy Note 7 insert in there. Not much you can really glean from the insert itself. Uh, if we look around the case here, as usual, you got VRS design branding on the inside here. You can see here it says Semi Auto Damda Glide Series for the Galaxy Note 7, made in Korea. Your little VRS Design Labs, their website. On the back here, of course, this is a card slot case. That's sort of the point. You've got some VRS Design branding right there. And then also, if you check out the text right there, it says card storage. So you can actually slide this open. And the idea on the Damda Glide is that this one actually opens a lot faster and closes a lot easier than the old Damda Slide Series. And actually, if you compare the two, that's absolutely true. If you see right here, see how difficult it is for me to get it open and to shut it. it takes quite a bit of effort that kind of sticks a little bit on the damn to slide series. Same idea was a card slot case. This is my Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. But on the damn to glide now, just look at this. As soon as I touch it and flick it open, you know, it opens and shuts. It's got a really nice action on the open and closing. So, of course, when I actually get the phone, I'll do some tests to show you how many cards you can fit in here. I've always been able to fit one credit card and an ID pretty comfortably in there. Not too much more than that or it's gonna bulge out. Uh, you've got a recessed camera module right there, of course. As usual, you've got some text on the camera module. It says VRS Design Labs as well. Um, pretty nice looking color. This is the satin silver. One thing that you will notice on this case that sort of hints at some of the design of the Galaxy Note 7, this is what I was interested in. If you notice, you see that the actual two part of this case is a two part case. The soft shell TPU on the inside, it's a bit more raised up than it was on the one for the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus and also for the Galaxy S7. So if you look right here, you can tell that this is the TPU portion goes around a little bit further. The back portion is a little bit thicker. And so what that says to me is that the Galaxy Note 7 may just have the edge portion be the glass only. So if you look at the S6 Edge Plus or even the S7 here, which is in the Damda clip case, if you look at the S7, right, the Galaxy S7, you've got a little bit of the curved portion being the metal, so that actually gives you this sharp feeling in the hand. Some people don't like that. They would like, you know, a full metal portion here, which makes it a little thicker, but then the glass itself is the only thing that's sort of curved right over the edge. So a lot of people have said that might be the possibility for the Galaxy Note 7, and you can sort of see where that might be the case, because you've got a nice thick part of the TPU right here around the sides, it's not that thin as it is on the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus and also the one for the Galaxy S7 Edge. So it's possible that we're going to see that. Of course, we'll have to wait and see what Samsung does, but that's sort of hinting at that from the design of the case. You got some nice tactile buttons, of course, on both sides, differentiated volume. Samsung's pretty well known for differentiated volume buttons, power button, nothing else too interesting. Of course, you've got a slot here on the bottom that's recessed for the S Pen, you know, your mic, your charging port, and your speaker. Pretty standard cutouts here, uh, and you'll notice here on the top as well, just a cutout as well, which we always have there on the top as well. So nothing too stand out from the overall design. The one thing I think that we can sort of hint at, as I said, is that you may have a slightly different design. You might have that thicker metal piece on the side with the, S, uh, the Note 7, as opposed to the Galaxy S7 Edge, where you've got a very thin metal strip and makes it a little sharper in the hand. Uh, which is one of the only complaints that some people have with the design of the Edge phones. 
All right, so again, I will do a follow-up review. I'm gonna have all of the VRS design cases. They're sending all the ones for the Note 7, so I'll have follow-up videos. If you guys have any questions about this particular case, uh, it looks like a nice case. It's gonna give you good protection. You're gonna have a good lip around the front as usual with VRS design. It's obviously a functional case due to the card storage. And in my opinion, it looks pretty good as well. So their cases are always quality. I'll drop the link below to the Amazon page if you guys wanna pick this one up. Please like and subscribe if you guys enjoy my content. Check out some of my other videos on the Axon 7. I've been covering that phone a lot lately. Find me on dopetechdaily.com, Google+, Instagram, and Twitter at the links in the description. I appreciate you guys checking out this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.